This is Okuma Cedros CJ45S. Uh, I think this is from the 2011, if I'm not mistaken, based on the Okuma catalog of 2011 because I couldn't find it on Okuma 2010 catalog. So when it came out like 10 years ago, this is like one of the best value reel of its price range. But now in 2021, like 10 years later, this is like one of the reels that you don't want to use because right now we have at its price range around $100 ish. You have Daiwa BG and Spheros SWA will be coming out shortly and then Pen Spin Fisher. So this is a really outdated reel, but it is still a good reel. All right. Let's see the weight of this reel. So it's one pound point nine ounce, which is about sixteen ounces. And in gram, it should be four hundred and seventy nine gram. So the reeling feels very heavy because. The last time I serviced this reel was like 3 years ago, so right now the owner of the reel gave this to me to service everything. So I take the opportunity to service this reel and as usual I will be doing complete disassembling and also the assembling of this reel. Okay, so it's of different design of the current Cedros, the 20. 19 or 2020 Cedros which have this black and silver uh, color I think so anyway so look forward to it so we won't be taking any more time so let's begin okay so let's begin by removing the handle first Now this is a screw in handle however it is different from like regular screw in handle because this one the handle here is screwed onto this post and this post here is actually a hexagon shaft which you'll see later I'll remove this one first so it's held by this nut and we remove this cover and it's not coming out Let's see okay there we go and this one I came out will come out just like that hold on so as you can see this is hexagon shaft it's it's a screw in the handle however it is held onto the gear by a hexagon shaft so it is not like a power gear kind of reel you know okay so let's remove the spool okay so this is the spool you can see the design seems like it have a uh, drag on both up and down here Anyways, we'll disassemble it later. So this is the knob. And let's remove this shim. There's three shim. Which you can always uh, adjust the amount, the line lay with it. Okay, so next we'll remove this one right here. Okay, and next we'll remove the rotor. This one goes clockwise, I think. No, counterclockwise. Yep, it goes clockwise. Well, it will be a little bit hard. So it goes clockwise on this one. You have to remove it clockwise and then you reinstall it uh, anti-clockwise okay so let's remove this one okay so there you have it this is the rotor 
Okay, so we will disassemble this one as well. And this is the main frame, the main body of the reel. Okay, simple enough. Now, this reel is notorious for jammed uh, entire reverse bearing and jammed bearing which is actually not a surprise for the, any race of that era because at that time even like Pan Battle 2 also have the same problem it is not splash proof and it is definitely definitely not waterproof so be mindful about that and I'm not sure if the modern Cedros and Azores have the same design or not but Anyway, so that's it for the primary disassembling and next we go on with the other parts one by one. Okay, so let's begin with the uh, rotor and drag knob first and we will first go ahead with the drag knob. I think this is simple design, nothing fancy about this. Alright, just have to remove these two screws out here. Okay, goes out just like that, and you have this clicker here, which you can't remove this, so we'll let it be, and then you can remove this. Okay, and then here is only the pressure spring. Alright, so there you have it, uh, quite a simple design, nothing complicated with the knob. The Daiwa BG knob is much harder to <laughs> reassemble compared to this one. But it's still a relatively easy wheel to this. Alright, so anyway, so let's remove this. Okay, so it come out just like that. It, it should seal this one watertight, but... Uh, it's not watertight just some fancy stuff just some stuff to make it fancy so now we remove the drag washer which is as usual had by a clip if you lose this as usual as I have always mentioned you can easily make one with single strand wire and from this size I think it's number six number seven or eight something like that and this one is well used okay anyway so let's remove this it is felt washer which is not a surprise and the washer is also not a surprise combination there you can upgrade it to carbon fiber, but for this reel, it's not worth it to upgrade to carbon fiber. You just have to buy a whole sheet of felt and then just cut it out. It's easy as that. Okay, so that's the top side, and now we go to the bottom side, and this one is held also by a clip, which you can remove easily. And it's worth noting that this wire will have we hold this line uh what do you call it line holder something so you don't have to remove that there is no need to remove that and I wouldn't bother even removing that but if you want to remove it go ahead although reassembling will be quite a pain okay remove this so it help by two screws okay and there's a washer down here and now we remove the uh, track washer this one is carbon fiber as you can see and we remove this one which I don't know what the function or oh, this is the clicker yep this is the clicker and that's the clicker piece which I will not be removing. It is held by a, by a clip, by some sort of clip. 
but I won't bother removing this so I'll just leave it at this as it is okay so there you have it for the spool and the drag knob it is uh, a little bit different design from regular reel and <laughs> this bottom drag washer like you don't need it but it's part of the appeal part of the appeal of the reels back then okay so there you have it and next we're going to disassemble the rotor okay so this is the rotor and I think it is really simple to disassemble so this one fell out so it just sits there so it should sit here so before you put on the rotor you just have to put this one the washer so set it aside okay so first off we'll remove the line roller It is easier to untighten the screw with flathead and then you unscrew it with Phillips but it's up to you so this is the screw and as you can see it has that teeth there like all most uh, line roller screw and then just pull this one out okay let's pull the line roller out Hopefully it's not stuck and seems like it is stuck so we'll remove this side first if there's anything okay there's one here and nothing else okay so now the job of removing this is was never fun so I think it's better if we remove this side first Okay, so it came out just like that, and no washer anywhere, doesn't seem to have any, and I see here, so there's no washer here, and no sleeve. Okay, so we're going to remove this one, but I have to see if we, if we can remove this. Let's see if we can remove this one. Which I hope we can. It's no fun, you know, to have this one stuck. It was never fun. Okay, seems like it's moving out. At least it does move a little bit. So we we'll try to do this one slowly. As usual, with all stuck bearing, we have to do it like real slowly. Okay, so it's out. Okay, so thankfully, it came out easily. So right now we move this rubber ring or silicone ring. So there's two ring, one on this side and one on this side. Okay, and this one is held by one bearing and one bushing if I'm not mistaken. Now let's see, yep, one bearing and one bushing. So we'll try to remove the bushing first if we can no. oh this is gonna be quite a problem that problem is part of the job 
for you do your real silly stuff I'll try to remove this but I doubt it will be easy job but at least we try let's see if we can remove this so that one's out so the teflon will sit on ah uh, hold on uh, I won't bother we'll do it take a look a bit later and then the bearing which should come out just like that okay thankfully so both the bearing and this one came out thankfully it came out rather easy okay so that's it for the bail arm and let's remove this one so in order to remove uh, this bail arm this is the bail wire and now we remove the bail arm in order to remove this you don't have to unscrew this one first you just have to remove this one but before you unscrew it make sure you always put your thumb onto the bail arm and then you can proceed with unscrewing it and now slowly pull it out don't rush the spring will shoot out if you rush this and thankfully it does not shoot out thankfully okay so next we'll remove this and also same thing your thumb onto the cover and as usual remove this slowly don't rush so as you can see that's a spring if you don't put your thumb uh, you're usually gonna have an interesting day ahead of you okay so this is the bear arm it is of simple construction not that hard okay and you remove this one and this one is rusted quite well which is normal and that's it for the bail arm so it is of easy construction nothing hard about this but as usual when any parts involving spring make sure you practice a little bit more caution than other parts okay so that's it for the rotor and next we move on to the handle and main body okay so this is the handle and main body so the handle does not need too much attention i would love to remove this screw and service everything but i won't bother because it is like simple design so nothing much to do so i just have to clean it with carburetor cleaner and then just re grease it i'm just gonna remove the knob which I'm not sure if it's reverted or not I haven't serviced this really in quite a while now okay so let's see if it's reverted or not reverted okay so it's held by a screw okay so you need Phillips screwdriver for this one one okay so this is the handle the knob and I don't think there's anything there's no I'm not sure if there's any bushing no bushing so nothing oh there's actually one bushing here and there should be one here as well there's one on top there should be another one down here okay so that's it for the handle easy peasy put this one aside and next we'll go ahead with the main body and first we're going to remove this one the rear cover or butt cover as sometimes people call it and nope so 
this one should come out easily. So there we go. It has some sort of what plastic, which I don't think it does a good job there, but never mind. And this one has got quite a few salt crystals, which is not a problem. But we just wipe out the excess grease first. Okay. That's it for the cover and in order to remove this I think we have to remove this one here this cover first this is not a hard reel to maintain I think however uh, I think that the gear the pinion gear on this one is the square shape pinion gear but we'll see most of the reels of that time will have square pin in here, most not all. Okay, so there you have it, and let's try to remove this so it came out easily. No fuss, set it aside. And now we can remove this. Hold on, let's see which is the best option for this one. Yep, we'll remove this side cover first. These are the three screws here. Which one is the clown screw? Same as you. And this is the nice eight screw. Out. Right, let me set some first. And this screw is different from this three here. Alright, so that's it. Let's try remove this. And never rush anything, so do this slowly. If there's something stuck, never rush. Okay, so there we go. Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. And it is evident that this tree was not serviced for quite a while now. Uh, hold on. Remove the screw as well. There we go. So that's the side cover. And there's the gear assembly. Yep, as you can see, this is oval gear. And most of the reels of this era will have that gear. Okay, so, anyway, so we'll remove this the entire reverse and the pinion and everything. And it came out like this, so nothing much can be done. This design here is quite secure for an entire reverse bearing, an entire reverse clutch. Okay, so this is the plastic sleeve, and this is the pinion bearing, which is big, big pinion bearing. Okay, so. We're already at this stage, so I'm going to remove all the anti-reverse roller there. Okay, so it came out just like this, and there's spring here. You can see this. Okay, so it should sit this like that, and the spring will sit onto here. Okay, so we'll do this one by one slowly, do not rush. This will be quite an interesting reel to reassemble later. There we 
go. So it came out just like that. Now I'm not sure if you can remove this, but I'll try not to. Okay, so let's see how are we going to remove this. Hopefully it's not too hard. So I think we still have to remove main gear. But if not, we have to remove the pinion gear. That the uh, shaft. Oh, hold on. Okay, I think it's better if we remove the shaft first. Make it, it's easier to remove everything else. Okay, so there's a screw. So remove the shaft and let's give it a little wipe. Okay, so there you have it, it came out just like that. Um, and I think we have to remove the oscillation gear first. Reinstalling will be interesting, but that one is for later. Okay, so it should come out easily. Okay, so there's a sleeve there. Well, let's try and do this gently, not rush. It should come out easily, you know. But it seems like the gear is stuck. Uh, so we have to do this unconventionally. go and that's the oscillation gear uh, I'm not sure if I can remove the bushing nope. okay so that's for the oscillation gear and now we have to remove the main gear and thankfully it came out easily and this is one of those design where the main gear, the, the bearing for the main gear is pretty much reverted onto the main gear so you can't remove this. You can remove this but if you remove this then you have to like change the whole gear with the bearing. So not worth it. Okay. So we'll leave it at that. And that's it. And next we'll remove this one. And just take it out just like that. And I don't think there's any bushing here. Oh, there's a bushing here. Like so that's the bushing, plastic bushing, and I think that's it for the main body. So it's not really a hard uh, reel to maintain. However, uh, this design here, the entire reverse clutch will be a little bit interesting to reassemble but it's not that hard it's not a hard written anything and this is the sleeve uh, I'm not sure if you can remove this and let's try to remove this let's see if we can remove this or not and it seems like now nah, I would bother removing this so we'll leave it as it is 
Okay, so there you have it for the main body. Not a terribly hard reel to do, but you just have to be careful when removing all the spring parts and this roller sleeve there. Other than that, everything else is quite straightforward. Okay, so that's it, and I will do a little bit of the cleaning for everything, and then we're going to proceed and make sure you tune in for the reassembling video of uh, Okuma Sidros CJ45S okay see you guys again